Hi everyone, welcome back and Ramzan Mubarak. It's the holy month of fasting and people all around the world are ready for it. Welcoming Ramzan is just like welcoming your guests. Now deep cleaning I have done many times in many of my videos, so I'm not going again into that. Today's video is some rearrangements I made prior to Ramadan and some tips I follow. Hope you like it. Keep watching. Before going into the rearrangements and shopping I had done, let me show you the tips I follow while cleaning some stuffs. Beginning with cleaning my indoor plants. Now this is one big plant in the house. Since it has large leaves, it's easy to clean this way. I spray some water all over the leaves and then wipe with a towel. I have seen some applying little oil for a shine. I usually don't do that. For the rest of the indoor plants, I take it to the bathroom and spray water. This way the plant is watered as well. When the water stops dripping, I place it back. Next is washing abayas. Now not everyone wear abayas, but sometimes I do the same with some of my clothes that needs extra care. So if you wish, you could follow this. I have seen my mother doing so, hence I am following the same. You can definitely get abaya cleaning liquids from stores but if you can't find one you can always use a regular shampoo. I usually buy a shampoo separate for this because for my hair I use baby shampoo. So I buy separate you can use your regular shampoo. Into a bucket of some water add shampoo not too much just a little amount and dip in the abayas for around 20 to 25 minutes. And then I hand wash. Since I don't have a balcony, I place it on any hook so that the water drips and then I can put it for drying. By using shampoo, the abayas even get a good fragrance after drying. Now I'm not sure if this will be helpful for many or not. We have a very small bathroom and for that reason the bathroom door gets wet all time after each shower. So the doors were getting spoiled and some thin pieces of wood would come off and it looked really dirty. So for that what I do is I take some vegetable oil. You can even use olive oil for this. Using a sponge I apply some oil all over the door. Not too much that the door becomes oily, just a little. It acts like a varnish. I do this every two or three months, not more. Just a very basic tip for beginners. If your dough makes such annoying noises, again apply some oil onto these joints and it'll be gone. The same oil varnish applies for any of your wooden furniture. Again, don't apply too much. Keep it for 10 to 15 minutes. Wipe off any extra with a tissue or any cloth. There won't be any oil after wiping as the furniture would have absorbed making it shiny. Door mats, especially bathroom door mats are always better to be changed once in a week. I usually go for these types as it's easy to be cleaned in the washing machine. 
do not put the ones that have rubber on it into your washing machine your machine will be damaged take a bucket of hot water to that add quarter to half cup of vinegar dip the mats in it for 1 hour then i add it into the washing machine If you have been watching my videos from a long time you will know how much I love having changes at home though it is a rented apartment I wanted a change or a makeover for my kitchen from a very long time hence decided a rearrangement this ramadan I removed all the stuffs from the kitchen and it was a total mess. Then finally began rearranging. I have shown this once. I clean my chopping board by scrubbing lemon and salt on it. Then apply some olive oil. This adds to the shelf life of the chopping boards. And that's the final look. Not much changes, but I have easy access to the spatulas and spices near to my stove. I usually have very less leftovers after cooking unless any parties but in Ramzan how much ever less food I cook there is always some leftovers so I wanted a rearrangement for my refrigerator to have some space for the leftovers and even for the freezer section to keep some frozen items I did a complete cleaning after removing all the baskets and the racks Now we usually tend to forget cleaning such areas. Here I'm using a dry brush to take out everything. You can use a toothpick to remove the dirt from these tiny areas. You can even use a earbud to clean such areas. This basket was from the fridge section. I'm using it in the freezer section to keep all the spring roll and samosa sheets, even the filo sheets. This extra basket I'll be using if any iftar parties at home, so that I can prepare frozen spring rolls and samosas and keep it in here. Instead of storing cold water, I use a lot of ice. some frozen fruit cubes ice packs in case of injury and that's for the freezer now these are the stuffs taken out from the fridge need to keep it back keeping a basket inside this box to keep it neat as the handle is broken
dairy products and some other in this basket. Stuff used for baking and desserts in one basket. All the spice powders and masala powders in another basket. The rest goes into another one. So I have these much space for the leftovers and if needed I can adjust and keep the baskets above or below when needed. That's the pizza sauce I had made in one of my videos. All the pickles goes in here. That's the curry paste. Some leftover rice. Now this rack is also empty for this purpose. Leftover idli batter. That's the date syrup and the jaggery syrup. Tamarind. And that completes the fridge makeover. Shopping malls and other outlets would be completely decorated with Ramadan decor items and it's always lovely to watch these arrangements, be it any festivals. I bought one of these as it was suggested by my dear friend Jinu. It's a very helpful one. Dates a must in Ramadan. For the time being, I changed my office space and rearranged. I live in a rented apartment and hence space is limited, so need to utilize whatever available. Now this is a water dispenser, it would be really very helpful for parties to keep in the drinks. It's airtight, so it's always fresh inside. 
that's a little arrangement that's potpourri for a good fragrance everything is just a rearrangement no too much extra shopping was done for this i have just changed the positions for a new look Now this area is seen as soon as someone enters our home so I try to make sure that it's well maintained and use essential oils for a good smell when someone is in I like to have a good smell on the prayer mats so after washing the mats I spray just a little from this If the candle is deep use a spaghetti stick to light the candle Just a very few simple changes for the bedrooms And that's for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. See you soon with another one. Until then, take care, stay blessed. Bye bye.